now. We talk about flexible automation, about uh, configurable production. So we have another example, and we had a uh, robot, obviously, as well. So the question is, how can we capitalize on a closer cooperation between man and robot than we had so far? Look at what we have at robots today. Um, basically, they are supposed for dangerous tasks, heavy labor, repetitive tasks. That is an excellent field of application for robots. And currently, they are not yet safe. So they need to be put in a cage. And the question is, how can we do better? How can we make sure and safety man-robot collaboration? And that is what Dirk is presenting now as well, including flexible automation. Yes. So ARPAS Assist is a member of our ARPAS family, um, highly advanced uh, product, um, advanced gripping technology, and so on. But what's maybe most important in terms of human-robot collaboration is the sensor skin. You can see here. This skin will actually stop the robot before it actually even touches me. Okay, so about five centimeters before um, it detects um, a human being, it will stop. Okay, and only if nobody is interfering with it, it will continue. Like in this example, with a pick and place task. I think that's very exciting. But um, from a manufacturing expert's point of view, I would guess shouldn't this thing be a little bit faster in order to cope with the speed at Bosch? Werner, you, you know, you said earlier on um, that today is going to be challenging. So are you um, willing to step out of your comfort zone? Out of my comfort zone? Just step. I didn't know I had one. But, but <laughs> <laughs> step a meter in this direction, and you will actually see that um, the built-in speed switch basically um, is activated if nobody is in the danger zone. Okay, So these two um, sensors over here are the speed switch. And as soon as you're back in the zone, it slows down. Obviously, it works. Yeah, thank you very much for this little guy here. <laughs> you don't, you see. <laughs> I'm not scared. That's not the first time that I'm doing this, you know. I think it's really great. And it, there are many applications for this kind of technology, of course, in various robotic applications.